Flash comic is um, a very dapper young man. He, he, he is uh, father of the year material um, on BET. If, if there was a TV show named after him, um, it would be called The Eagles Suck. Um, he's an Eagles fan, so... Um, let me see. Um, let me let me re redo that. That's comic coming on stage. One of my good friends. Um, you guys can catch him all over. Um, headlining, featuring, um, cleaning dishes, whatever he does. He, he's all over the place doing fantastic things. Uh, but he's one of my best friends. Start talking right now for Mr. Glenn Lawrence. <laughs> Are you like shooting at me the whole time you're coming up? Because like, you have like the gut up. Hey, what's going on, Brandon? Oh, man, it's so good to see you. Thank you all for that tepid response and applause. That was uh, short-lived. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, it's good to see everybody out here, man. This is great. This is great. I, I want, can I give a special, just a special moment? Can we take a moment to recognize and give a special shout-out to Jenner? Um, no? We don't want to do that? We don't? Just, like, he brought up the whole thing with the cops and the chick getting gangbanged by her whole department, and he didn't once mention that they were all black. That, <laughs> his accent made me think that that would be the first thing he was mad about, but he wasn't upset about it at all. He just didn't even mention it. It wasn't even a thing to him. What's up, man? How you doing? Y'all niggas are thuggish out here. <laughs> Y'all do be coming out here gritting on everybody like, what, nigga, say something. <laughs> you want these pictures? You want your video, nigga? Say something. Okay. I appreciate y'all though. Y'all are dope. Uh, Adam, this does not, this feels like, this feels like what we're working towards, bro. This is like with the, like, it's like we're shooting our own special. It does not seem like they stole all this equipment and <laughs> we could be kicked out at any moment. It does not look like that. Although I do keep my bag closed just in case we all got to run out. Just in case. I don't Have y'all been listening to like anything online recently? Like the, have y'all been looking at TMZ at all? No, not at all. This man, he's been looking at it. I was looking at TMZ, and there's this funny story on there about how a rapper YG just had his birthday. Did y'all hear that story? YG just had his birthday, and he was going out, bro. There was mad people there. He had strippers there, and he was taking pictures. He was getting, he was getting lit, and he posted one of those pictures on IG, and it was a, it was a dope picture. The stripper had her leg like up in the air, way in the air. Showed everything, the whole world. It was great for everybody except for her man. <laughs> like her boyfriend saw the picture, and then he put on online. He did this whole thing. He was like crying and stuff. And he was like, he's like, why, G? You should take that picture down. It's my girl. You know what I mean? I didn't even know she does this. You know, it's disrespectful to me. I'm, you know, it's gonna break up our relationship. You know, that's my girl. And then the internet did what it does and just started roasting the fuck out of this dude. <laughs> like, they had no sympathy for him whatsoever. They did not care. And then the, the thing that sucked was one of the roasts was like, any nigga with this haircut is a simp. Shut the fuck up. And I was upset because he had the same haircut that I had. And <laughs> so have you ever been roasted, like, as collateral damage on the internet? Has anybody ever... I just started defending the indefensible, like, well, he's got a point. You don't want to break up a happy home. You should. <laughs> I don't know what the haircut has to do with it. <laughs> I was so hurt by that. It's like, damn, nigga. All right. Now y'all going to look up what this dude looks like. Like, oh, that nigga Glenn is a simp. Um, uh, recently, I've been thinking about this, and uh, I just, I, it makes me think about it more because I just see y'all beautiful faces here, like, especially you, Jenner. Do you ever wish that you could just, like, like, like kind of know what black people are thinking? <laughs> yeah, right? Like, do you ever wish you could just, like, take a pill, like a, a, like a black brain pill? So you could take a pill, and you just, like, you instantly know, like, like, you ever wish you could take a nigga pill is what I'm, do you ever? Yeah, let's go for it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I feel like that. I feel like if we had those on the market, that would be dope for people. You know, like you could get insight. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, not you, nigga. Like, damn, y'all be checking motherfuckers all the time. 
I'm just saying in general, Adam, I am pointing to you. Like, you could get insight, you know what I mean? Like, if you're like, what do these niggas be thinking? You just pop a pill, and then you don't have to stay it on stage. You know, that... Like, I, I wouldn't take that. Like, I wish they had those on the market, you know? Like, if there was a Karen pill, I could take that shit and just be like, why is she reporting me to HR? What is... <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, that's what she's upset about. Because sometimes you don't get it, you know what I mean? Like, you take an Asian pill. Why are they kicking me out of this store? You know, why? Y'all don't ever thought if we could just have the brain of the other races, like, just a pill, you could just take, pop it, and... No, sir? Yes. <laughs> you look like you didn't want to admit that, but deep down inside, you're like, I do really be wondering what these niggas be thinking. I do... Okay. That was a good one. Uh, I've noticed a lot, there's been a lot of talk online also, because I've been online a lot, there's been a lot of talk about how these passport bros are fuck boys. Like, fuck these passport bros. Have you seen that? Like, that's, that's crazy to me, because everybody was standing in line waiting to see how Stella got her groove back, and they didn't say shit. <laughs> that's the same, Stella was a passport hoe. She went to Jamaica... Okay, all right. I guess y'all aren't into black cinema. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been thinking that this is, this is just a, a thing. I was just thinking back to how I was married before, and then I got divorced or whatever, and I was just like, damn, that was kind of dope, you know? <laughs> like, people talk like, oh, man, divorce is, like, the worst thing you go through. I'm like, actually, divorce is kind of cool. It's... The, you know, here's what divorce, divorce is like when you have, when you like eat something and you get a stomach ache and then you take a really good shit. Like you've been just holding it for this whole time and you're like, all right, I got to get this out. I got to, but you, you know what I mean? Like you take that big shit and you just don't want it to get messy. You know, that's the, all right, y'all are just smiling in agreement. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. I think divorce is like taking a shit. It's a, you know what I mean? You just want to make sure you don't get smeared and, you know, you just hope it's clean. You just hope it comes out clean and then you're, all right. All right, I uh, have a son. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. One of the things I'm looking forward to with my son is being able to give him advice. I'm excited for this, man, because I'm going to give him some great advice. One piece of advice that I'm going to give him, probably the most important piece of advice I'm going to give him is, son, don't fall for good blowjobs. Don't fall for good blowjobs, yo. Because he's going to get out there. He's going to be out in the world. He's going to meet some girl, and she's going to just gobble him up. You know what I'm saying? She's, don't fall for that shit, son. Do not fall. She does not mean it. She does not... As soon as you put the ring on it, it's all of a sudden like her mouth don't work. All of a sudden, it just. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Like when you're out there dating, you're single in the world, the blowjobs are amazing. They're all with the balls and everything. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Oh, just rubbing it. Every oh, oh, and the noises that they make, you fucking liars. Oscar performances, all of them. <laughs> then as soon as you get married, it's like, I never liked that anyway. <laughs> and it's just such a 180, because when you were single, it was like they were so into that shit. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's like, well, you know, I don't just don't want to lay around and blow you all day, glad. <laughs> it's like, bitch, how do you think you got me? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that performance. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Renee Zellweger. That was a Harvey Weinstein joke that I should not have added in there. <laughs> uh, Renee, you are a great actress. You deserve everything you got. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, what else am I? Okay. Uh, do you ever, do you ever, here's, here's the thing that I get all the time, right? I get, so, this is one thing that I got, all right, I don't know how to say this, but do you ever have a friend who's just like, I'll pray for you? And then you look at their life and you're like, I really wish you wouldn't. <laughs> I 
have you ever have a friend like that? You know what I mean? Like Brandon Moore the other day was like, Glenn, I'll pray for you. And I was like, nigga, please don't. Don't. <laughs> That's like if somebody goes up to the bouncer and tries to get you in free, but the bouncer don't fuck with him. It's just like, no, don't fuck up my blessings. You know what I'm saying? Don't. How about this? Have you ever prayed for a friend and then like you were like, I wish I could take that prayer back. <laughs> Like, you pray for him, and then you're like, God, I didn't mean that. I, please just don't judge me by that prayer. I just, I want, can I use that prayer towards something else, like reward points? Can I? <laughs> Capital. <laughs> Capital. Samuel Jackson is God. He comes out like, nigga, what's in your wallet? Are you, okay, that wasn't great. All right, okay, I just, uh, can I do one more, Brandon? Sure. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, you can say no, nigga. I mean, I gave it light like three minutes ago, but sure. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. I just, I, I was you. waiting because I thought you, you know, hold on. No, wait, I, did it, I did it from the, I have a flashlight now because I'm fancy and I'm trying to set my phone I'm battery. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, what? I'm just going to be, <laughs> listen, nigga, we still need equipment. I'm doing more time, all right? We're, <laughs> <laughs> we here illegally anyway. We ain't following no rules. You know what I'm saying? Where's Nelson at? I don't want him to come slap the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga come back <laughs> from the back with Crocs on and just be like, God, fuck, fuck off my stage, nigga. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> I love you, Nelson. You the band, bro. You, you dope. You can't, okay, good, good. He's going to be playing this video back and be like, I'm deleting all your clips, nigga. <laughs> All right, the last thing that I was going to talk about is how, like, I'm older now, and I I feel like I'm at the stage now where, because, you know, people ask, oh, do you go to my church, do you, or do you go to church, or whatever, just, I met this dude at the party, he's like, do, do you want to go to my church? <laughs> Yo, the way that he saunters out the back. <laughs> And he does the full lip bite, too. Like, mm. This nigga saunters from the back like he's a dad. He just... <laughs> I've seen that dad for poor, you know what I mean? Where your dad comes from the back, like, what your mama say? Anyway, I'm getting... Because uh, I met this dude, and he was like, hey, do you want to go to my... Do you want to... Would you like to come to my church or whatever? And I'm like, I don't think at this age I'm just going to be picking up religion. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm going to be... Like, I'm at the age now where I'm just going to pick a conspiracy theory, and that's going to be my shit. You know, that's... <laughs> I'm just going to be like, you know what? Chemtrails. That's what I meant to now. Everything's related to the chemtrails. <laughs> They're in the sky. They're poisoning everything. All right. That's enough. All right. Let me get out of here for Nelson really does whip my ass. Hey, y'all have been amazing. Please give it up for Brandon Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going for Glenn Lawrence. I know I lie, but as a typical black man, I do that a lot. Uh, we have one more comic, and then, and then, and then we are done for the, tonight. Uh, last comic. <laughs>